Hello everyone, how you doing? This is a, just a short video on three of my new teas I got. These are the Hapalopas SP Pumpkin Patch. Really cool teas if you look them up. Um, you can see the name in the description and title. They're awesome. Whenever they get big they are just like this orange black color really cool and um, just wanted to show y'all I have them in these little vials here since they're really really small you can see them there and um, basically um, care for these guys um, same as any other small tea make sure you keep a good amount of moisture in there um, so they can mold properly and um, have a good amount of humidity in there and um, just wanted to show y'all, I don't know if you can see the center one here, but <clears throat> actually the center and the right one, and even this guy here, um, they're eating. And what I basically did was, uh, since these guys are really small, um, even some of the small pinhead crickets are a little big for these guys because they actually crickets can actually go after your teeth so what I do with these little guys is I just cut off a cricket leg from a large cricket that I'm about to feed another tea and basically just throw it in there and they will they will come across it and they will basically eat off that cricket leg you can see these guys doing it right now and um, that's just basically how I feed these little tiny guys. Um, so it's an easy, safe way to feed them so that um, they don't get hurt by any of the crickets. Uh, a lot of times when you get them, they seem to be really small, but then once you throw them in the container, you realize that um, they're almost the size of your, your tea. So just rip off a cricket leg and throw it in there and these guys will make their way to it and start eating so there's also no point in buying additional crickets um, when you could just use the same large ones to feed the use to feed your larger teas so that's pretty much it like I said there's not too much to see to these guys right now and uh, they have a little bit of color coming in really excited about these i want to see the way they look as they mold and grow i was able to get three of them uh, from a friend of mine so i'm hoping i have um, some type of male female combination here and uh, maybe future breeding so that's pretty much it as time goes by i will do updates on these little guys um, but as always, everyone, thanks for watching.